this is the algebra one star star standing for state of texas assessment academic readiness lesson 20 describing the effects of changes to linear graphs and here we have the standard slope intercept form equation y equals mx plus b now we're going to be looking at in this lesson changes to m or the slope and changes to b the y-intercept. So let's go ahead to look at new vocabulary, slope-intercept formula. It really shouldn't be new at all. It's this thing right here, y equals mx plus b. And then m is going to be our slope, and b is going to be our y-intercept. And why M for slope? Well, I, I'm not sure of it, but uh, the word in French for climb is monte. And so if M stands for monte, that could be where M comes from. I'm not sure at this point. Okay, slope intercept form of linear equations, y equals mx plus b. In this equation, m is the slope and b is the y intercept. The slope represents the rise over run or change in y divided by change in x. The y intercept is y coordinate, the point where the line intersects the y axis. We covered this in previous lessons 18 and 19. Change in which is an m. The slope m affects the tilt or slant of the line. If m is positive, the slope rises as it goes left to right. So just kind of sketching what that looks like briefly, you have just, if you have an xy coordinate plane here in purple, and the function is going up like this, this is, this is going to be a slope of greater than zero. And then also if you have a a uh, function whose value is declining as we go from left to right like this, we have a slope of less than zero. So uh, let's go ahead with the examples. The line y equals x plus 1 is graphed at the right. What's the effect of the graph? If the slope is doubled and the y-intercept remains the same. And so this thing represents the steepness. So we're going to have a steeper line and twice as steep. And so this one here is, of course, as it says, y equals x plus 1. And if we make this line twice as steep, we're going to have the equation y equals 2x plus 1. This m is a measure of the steepness. In this case, the first one here, 1x plus 1, the slope is 1. And then down here at the bottom, we have y equals 2x plus 1. We have a steepness or slope of 2. A slope of 1, just interest, is just a, if you have the scale the same, the x-axis and y-axis, a slope of 1 is going to be just this perfectly diagonal line. Okay. That's what a perfectly diagonal line looks like, a slope of 1. So if it, it's, that's if you have the same scale on the x-axis and the y-axis like you do here. Next, quick check 1. What is the effect on the graph of y equals x plus 1 if the slope is multiplied by negative 1? And the y-intercept stays the same. Let's graph both equations. And so here I'm going to set up a graph of the first equation. And then here the second equation. In each of these, we have xy, xy. So the first one we have y equals x plus 1 with a slope in the the y-intercept is 1, and since the slope 
is 1, we're going to have this diagonal 1 like this. And so this is going to be y equals x plus 1. And to do that, we had to understand that this place that the function is touching on the y-axis is 1. And that says uh, if the slope is multiplied by negative 1, that's going to be y equals negative 1x or negative x plus 1. And so what that's going to do is to have the same y-intercept, but instead of tilting up to the right, we're going to tilt down to the right. So the thing's going to look something like, something like this. Yeah. So that's what this one is going to look like right here. Okay, 1b, what is the effect on the graph of y equals x plus 1 if the slope is multiplied by 0 and the y-intercept remains constant? We're going to do the same thing we did. Draw a couple of graphs here. I'm going to have a little less room. That shouldn't hinder us too much. Okay, we have x, y, x, y. Okay, the first one we have is x plus 1. Well, that's the same function we had uh, graphed earlier. We have our y-intercept of 1. We have our diagonal line like this. So that's going to be y equals x plus 1. Well, if we multiply the slope by 0, we're going to have y equals 0x plus 1 and 0 times x is going to be 0, so we're going to have just y equals 1. So we go to 1, we have the same y-intercept, but instead of tilting, we're going to have just a horizontal line with a slope of 0. A function with a slope of 0 is a horizontal line, so that's going to be the equation y equals 1. Next, changes in B. Changing B will shift a line up or down without affecting the slope. So if we go back to this last one we looked at, for instance, if we have the slope of 0, we can move this line up. So a change in B will move this line up or down. Increase of 1 will move the thing up here. In decrease of 1 will move it down here to the x-axis. So we can move it anywhere. Same thing with any of these other ones we've looked at. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this tip. Uh, y equals b can be written as y equals 0x plus b, and that's exactly what this last one here is right, uh, at the right, 0x plus b. And this is the equation of a horizontal line passing through 0, comma b. y equals mx can be written as y equals mx plus 0. This is the equation of a line with the slope m passing through the origin. So just to sketch what these look like, the one given at the top where we have 0x plus b, that would be if we, have a, if we have b right here, and we have 0x plus b, we're going to be just like... Okay, so this will be y equals 0x plus b, or simplified y equals b. And then down here below, we have y equals mx plus 0. Well, that's going to be simply this one right here. So going right through the origin, so y equals mx plus 0. So there we go. Uh, uh, example 2, the line y equals x plus 1 is graphed below. What is the effect on the graph if the slope stays the same and the y-intercept is changed to 4? 
Well, we have this one right here. I'm sketching it in blue. If it's changed to four, we're going to take this same line and move it up to four. So we move up three units. And we see over here down below that's exactly what has happened. Next, quick check two. What is the effect on the graph of, of y equals x plus one? The slope remains the same and the y-intercept is changed to negative one. Graph both equations. So we're going to do the same thing we did in those earlier problems. Here we have one uh, coordinate plane. Here we have another coordinate plane. So we have x, y, x, y. So we have y equals x plus 1. If we go to our y-intercept of 1, y equals x plus 1 is going to be this thing right here. Okay. And if we change that y-intercept to negative 1, we're going to come down to negative 1 right here and shift this line down to the y-intercept to negative 1. So it's going to look like this. So we have y equals x plus 1. We have this one, y equals x minus 1. 2b, the graph below shows the graph of y equals x plus 1 shifted down 3 units. What is the equation of the line? Well, here, if we just look at this, we have a new y-intercept. We're shifted down 3 units. So our y-intercept equals b equals negative 2. So it's like we can take this x plus 1. We can subtract three units from that. And just that, we're going to have y. If we subtract, we have y equals x. We'll have 1 minus 3, which simplifies to minus 2. So this will be the equation of our line right here. y y equals x minus 2. The slope stayed the same, but we shifted this graph down 3 units. The original x plus 1 is right here. It's going to be y x plus 1. Next, we have star practice these four problems. I want you to, we're going to stop, I want you to pause, work the problem out, and then go ahead and play it and see if you got it right. How does the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 3 compare to the graph of y equals 2x plus 3? Well, just like we did on these early problems, we can, we can graph these. We have this one, y equals 2x plus 3. Well, our y-intercept is going to be 3. And 2x is going to be a steepness of 2. And so I didn't do this in the earlier problem, but that's going to be a rise over run. So we can go up 2 over 1. So the graph function is going to look something like this. Okay, y equals 2x plus 3. Uh, now, if we have y equals negative, y equals negative 2x plus 3, we're going to have the similarity of the same y-intercept, but instead of going up at a slope of 2, we're going to go down. Our rise over run is going to be negative 2 over 1, so we're going to go down 2 over 1. So here we're going to have it right here. That's yes. what it's going to look like somewhat. And so uh, this is not a shift. It cannot be A. Shift it up by four units. No, we're not shifting at all. 
the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 3 will slope down instead of us, instead of, uh, instead of up, but cross the y-axis at the same point. That could be it. Graph of y equals negative 2x will slope down and be shifted down by 4 units. No, we're not shifting down at all. We're staying the same, not a shift. So C is our correct answer for this one. Next problem, 3. Which equation represents the line shifted 3 units up from y equals negative 2x plus 1? We can just take this, this uh, y equals negative 2x plus 1. And what do we have to do to shift up 3 units? That's going to be plus 3. So if we can add 3 to this function here, we're going to get y equals negative 2x, and then 1 plus 3 is 4. So our correct answer will be f. Okay, next, 3. Which equation represents a line with a slope twice the slope in the graph of y equals negative 3x plus 5? So we have y equals negative 3x plus 5. Well, in this case, m equals slope is equal to negative 3x. So 2 times slope is equal to 2 times negative 3, which equals negative 6. And so if the uh, a line with the slope, so we're going to have, it's going to be y equals negative 6x plus, well, b could be anything, any number. So we're really looking for this y equals negative 6x, which we'll see right here, answer choice d twice the slope. We just multiply this negative 3 by 2 by negative 6. Okay, the graph of the line x minus 3 is shown below. What graph has uh, best represents this line if the y-intercept is increased by 2 and the slope remains constant? So again, we're going to have y equals x minus 3. And we want to increase by 2 and leave, and the slope remains constant. So we're just going to increase by 2 and add 2 to this function. We're going to get y equals x and negative 3 plus 2 is going to be minus 1. And so we're looking for the slope remaining the same is going to be the same type of tilt. And we can see that this answer choice f is not right because you have a different tilt. Uh, and also this answer choice j. And this one right here G looks like y uh, intercept equals negative 1. This one down here, x choice H, has a y intercept that looks like a negative 5. So G is going to be our correct answer for this one. Anyway, these are all the, the problems. I hope that you are learning and are being successful. Thanks for viewing.